we can get her to walk over by that explosive barrel. That's disgusting, man. Oh, shit! I was not even paying attention to that explosive. Alright. That's kind of embarrassing. Welcome back, everybody, to Enshrouded. I'm an old guy. Gaming and in this episode, we're going to get back to doing some questing. So, uh, as I mentioned in the last episode, I did spend some time off camera uh, just doing some farming in particular. Uh, we got some more orbs or, or what are they called? Shroud cores? Um, these things. Yeah, shroud cores. Uh, so, I upgraded all eight of these storage to the magic chests and everything that I have in here. Well, most everything that I... Why did I just do that? Uh, most everything that I have in here is um, stuff that we would need to pull. Um, I don't know if... Let's look at something real quick. Um, everything over here is stuff that we typically wouldn't need to pull. So, like armor and equipment. And actually, I don't even have anything allocated for that. But um, I want to see something. So, if we go here and grab this and go into the build menu... Oh, man. Okay, so it doesn't pull the blocks from the storage. Hmm. Okay. Well, what that means then is we don't necessarily need to have building materials in here. I mean, th these two things we would need, but the rest of it we could put in a, a non-magic chest and then put something else that we would need in here. Um, so, you know, we can work on that later. Anyway, um, yeah, I think we're we're pretty much ready to go. The quest that we're going to start off with today, and it might take the entire episode too, I don't know, is um, this one here. The one that's going to get us the, yeah, this crown of the matron something or other. Because um, that's what we need to upgrade our strength in the flame. Scavenger matron head. Uh, we got everything else, and it, it'll all pull from here, too, which is amazing. Um, so, with that being said, let's jump in and get started uh, with today's quest. If we go to the map, the alchemist rumor is right there. The closest... Hmm, we could probably go to the spire and see if we could fly down there. Yeah, that's probably going to make the most sense, so let's do that. Oh, I did also take out a shroud root back over near uh, where we got the carpenter. Here's the footage from that. Okay, so we are heading that direction. Let's go ahead and buff up on our stuff here. Excellent. Okay, so we're more or less going in this direction. We'll stop off here on this little island and... We got a flame shrine. Nice. And then we'll get all of our stamina back. Let's also set that as a waypoint. Okay, here we go. Um, by the way, we're about, I think we're one point shy of being able to get the final uh, ranger point in the skill tree. Make sure nothing's chasing me. Um, yeah, so I need one more point to get Ranger. And then once we get that, man, that's going to really help a hell of a lot. 
two endurance for health, two dexterity for, no, for stamina, two endurance for stamina, two dexterity for uh, way, a ranged damage, better recharge, better crit. Love it. Love it, love it. Okay. Oh, shit. Uh, no, no, no. What are we doing? Right toolbar. Let's use the torch on the bees. Give ourselves a health squirt. I love that. That's awesome. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess we'll grab these. Always needing honey and sometimes wax. Um, can we get to that one? No, we can we can knock it down though. Um Okay. Um, I don't want to keep wasting arrows. Let's see if we can chop it out. Sometimes they fall down with the tree. Sometimes they don't. This time it did. Okay, good. Beautiful. All right, let's get moving here. So we got some kind of a fort. Hill of Scavengers. All right. Got a little sneaky sneak place right here. See a bad guy in there. Uh, oh, there's some um, landmines and some traps there. All right, let's go back around this way. I'm going to recharge that so we have... Lots of stamina. All right, we could wait for him to pat back, but I'm too damn impatient for that. Can we shoot him from here? Oh, he's one of those bomb guys. Ow. Couple dogs. All right, let's um set this off so we don't accidentally run into it later. Anything up here? Something to loot. Uh, okay. Let's take these gibbets apart. Oh, no. I'm not actually hitting it. Got a bad guy coming. Where is he? It sounded like he was just right out side there. All right, he'll sneak up on us when we least expect it. Come on, hit that damn thing. There we go. These typically will give three pieces of scrap metal if they don't get buried down in the ground. Sometimes it can be difficult to actually hit them though. There we go. Um, all right, let's break that stuff. Let's 
Is there something below here? There's a ball and chain. Oh, I saw somebody walking around down here. Yeah, there's a guy right there. <laughs> I like blowing bad guys up. Hey, there's our level. Okay, cool. Alright, let's go let's go back up here for a second. And we are now gonna take Ranger. What is this one? Damage against flying enemies. Okay. Two endurance, two dexterity, five stamina recharge, five critical, five critical chance, five critical gap uh, critical damage. Woot woot. Okay. Um We already have multi shot. Beasting costs. Uh, you can draw and use your bow while gliding. Eh, maybe. Increases your movement speed while sneaking. Maybe. That's probably going to be good. Um, But I'm thinking... Snakey. Increase your poison resistance. Increase your endurance attribute by 1. Increase stamina by 10 attribute per point. So we could take this, because we still have another point. But there's actually some pretty good stuff in the survivor tree. Uh, that's maximum shroud time. That wouldn't suck. This will just increase our health. Uh, no, I'm sorry, our stamina. But one of these increased our health. Increases endurance. Um, and in health potions, restore 20% more. 30% chance to spawn a stamina orb when defeating an enemy with a bow. What the hell's a stamina orb? I don't know, but it sounds like something that would help recharge our stamina, right? Increase based stamina regeneration. See, there's a lot of stamina stuff going up this way. Dexterity. You gain one additional foods. Oh, nice. Increases your endurance attribute. Yeah, I think I'm going to focus here on the on this survivor tree next it kind of makes sense i think to do that increase stamina by 10 um yeah let's that would take three points what does this do uh, yeah smooth uh movement speed endurance snake eater increase stamina by no, no, no. Volca within 50 meters will no longer attack you unless provoked. Or Vuka, rather. I don't, is that those werewolf things? I don't know what those are. Because the game doesn't tell you what the names of the enemies are. Health, mana, and stamina orbs restore 30% instead of 10% of their respective resource. Mana and health potions restore 20% more. Yeah, that is all really good stuff. Okay, so... That increases strength... Is there something that just gives us more health? This would give us more health. I feel a little squishy, which is, makes sense because we're, you know, kind of a ranged character. <laughs> I wouldn't mind having a little more health. Both of those do that. Um, and that's just endurance. Okay. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to actually do this. Just to give ourselves a little more base health. Oh, no. <laughs> I hit the wrong one. That was strength. Well, that's the one I wanted to do. We can always respec, too. Um, and I, be I believe it's free. Shoot. Okay. Well, we'll be a little bit stronger, I guess, with our, our sword. Okay. Let's continue on here. See, look at that. We already have three and a half, uh, well, two and a half rings worth of stamina now. That's cool. All kinds of loot down here. Cool. Not really seeing anything amazing in there. There's a chest. 
Yes, I need metal scraps. For sure. Oh, shit. Trap door. I wonder if there was something beneath there that that blew up when we activated the mines. Could be. All right. Got a chest here. Good, more scrap arrows. Explosive barrel. Ah, nice. Let's repair. Oh, shit! What the hell's that? Let's repop our buffs here. What was that? Whatever it is, it's big. Look at all this stuff, man. Oh! Scavenger Gorger Matron. Or Gorger Matron. That's who we came here for. Okay, I guess it's on. <laughs> Except for, I don't know where... I don't know where the boss is. Up above us, I think. What's in here? Okay. Um, that's a level seven. Same exact one we have, so we'll salvage that. Let's also salvage this and this. Get rid of that. Um, I'm actually going to get rid of that, too. And that. And that. It's all easy to come by. Okay, so this, um, this boss is obviously above us. And you know what? Let's take one of these. Might as well. 30% damage multiplier and it doesn't affect us negatively because we're not in the shroud. Why can't I loot that? There we go. Uh, let's read this quick. The Gorger. We are capped to three days now. Weak. Struggling with no food or water. This may very well be the last or my last testament. But the scavengers are creating new horrors that I cannot unsee. Scavenger queens who have grown fat with gluttony are turning the dark laboratory in this encampment on themselves by infusing massive amounts of elixir straight into their hearts. These gorgers will spit poison and lob vials of corrupted elixir at their prey. Avoid them at all costs. If I do not survive here, consider yourself warned. All right, that gave us a little information about what to expect from the boss. Okay, other things that we can come down here and loot at some point. Um, I'd rather not deal with a bunch of ads. Okay, we're no longer in the boss fight. I think we have to go up on top there. Okay, let's do this. Let's finish moving th throughout the camp and getting stuff just because, most, mostly because, oh shit, mostly because I don't want ads to be messing with us while we're doing this boss fight. Lots of nice little metal scraps around here. No, not you. You 
dead. I see somebody up above there. Yeah, okay, so we've come full circle. And there looks like that's the boss right there. Okay. Um can we get the drop on her and and do a um an explosion? What the hell? Knock it off. We can get her to walk over by that explosive barrel. That's disgusting, man. Oh, shit! I was not even paying attention to that explosive. Alright. That's kind of embarrassing. Stay fully healed here. She's almost dead. Got her. Improved grappling hook at the carpenter. Nice. Okay, cool. And there's the head thing we needed. Man, we've needed that for a long time. Um, we'll take that stuff. All of that loot. So I don't know if our little explosion trick actually hit her or not, but it got her attention. <laughs> That's for sure. <coughs> so. Just looking to see if there's anything else up here. There's a chest and a repair thingy. Oh, a gold chest. <gasps> nice. I don't know if that's going to be better than what we currently have, though. Let's we'll take a look. So right now, this is a 17 power level nine because it's upgraded. This is a level seven and it's not upgraded. So that means it's going to actually be more powerful than this. I think once it gets upgraded. It's got it, it's got a faster draw speed. Same arrow speed is the same. Backstab damage critical, backstab critical. This does fire magic increase critical hit. Okay, well, we'll do the same thing that we did with this bow. Um we'll take it back. I've got lots and lots of runes. And we'll upgrade it and then we'll see if it's actually better or not. If it isn't, then this one will probably replace this one and we'll melt this one down. Um, that is the plan anyway. Um, okay, so. Looks like there's still more things here that could be looted, but that... Damn. The nice thing about when those things go off, look, look at all the stuff they get you. Um, just there for the taking. So... Yeah, I think what I want to do is... Oh, I guess we already repaired, didn't we? I think I want to go back. Is there anything back here? What the hell? just a I guess it's just a secret entrance into the place huh okay yeah let's go ahead and head on back home and do a upgrade the flame man been waiting to do this for a long time okay let's upgrade the flame or strengthen the flame we got everything we need 
So this will give us uh, six altars we can put, level three shroud passage, which hopefully will let us pass that chasm um, to get to the next tower that we couldn't a few episodes ago. Character attribute bonuses and seven minutes base in the shroud. Character attribute bonuses. Before, okay, hold on. Before we do that, I just want to make sure I understand what that means exactly. So right now, we're one, one, four, two, four, and one. Okay. Nice. Aha, two, two, five, three, five, and two. Wow. Okay, that's cool, man. That is cool. Just to, you know, to have that. Those alone made it worth it. Okay, so for the next flame strengthen. Yeah, I don't know what goo is. I know what indigo is. So we haven't run into amber. We got copper and a fell wisp of wyvern head. Yeah, no. Okay, now, do I want to respec now? I mean, there's certainly no problem in having a little more strength because it's just going to make us better at melee. That's just not what I meant to do. Yeah, uh, I, I think... I think we'll we'll just keep it the way it is for now. And we'll just keep going from here. Okay, next thing I want to do is I want to um upgrade this bow. Alright, now how does it compare? 17. Yeah, it's uh well, it's better than the this legendary in terms of just raw power. But still not really on par with this, I think, overall. Even though this is actually a level 9, it but it's because it's a short bow, so it's just it's just a faster weapon. 20% backstab damage though doesn't suck. Increased critical chance. Uh, hit damage by 20%. Hmm. It's a nice looking bow. Well, one thing we're going to do for sure is... I think this one is better. So this will become our, our backup bow. And let's salvage that and get a whole mess of runes. Maybe even enough to recover what we just spent. Or at least a long ways towards you know doing that okay now um i think it was the alchemist that gave us that quest wait aren't you gonna may the flame guide your way hmm. okay i guess that there isn't a turn in per se oh right maybe it was the carpenter but we can upgrade our our Even grappling hook Carpenter's camp. You found my camp near more more winning? Oh, actually, I did. I was out there when I was just gathering stuff. Blissful, no? We tried to make those lands habitable. Lush lakes and a pretty great view. But when we came to settle, the wildlife fought back hard. Eventually, we abandoned our efforts. The world was already falling apart, and I decided to enter the cinder vaults to build the future, not just repair the present. That's just handy. Okay. Now, improved grappling hook. And... Uh, two, two, two. Wow, 221. Well, that's okay. I've got a bunch of shroud spores. So let's go here and unequip that. And here we go. Requires less stamina. Can be activated at larger ranges. Hot damn. Nice. That's what I'm talking about, man. Okay, let's um go here and equip it. Excellent. Okay, so... Um, what are we going to do next? That is the question. So let's take a look at quests. Alchemist Mortar, Hunter Spindle, Reclaim the Wilderness. This is a farmer quest, the Queen's Tomb. Find the Queen. The Carpenter wants you to reach the hidden tomb of the former Queen to unearth her treasures. You know what? I think that's an upgraded shield. I like that idea. 
Let's do that one next. Um, yeah, here, actually, show on a map. Where is that? Oh, it's right near where we were. I mean, almost exactly right near where we were. Okay. And also, this is no longer red, so now we can actually get through and reclaim this. And this uh, dyad one, I think, it gives us a new building block. So lots of stuff to do. Lots of good stuff to do. Um, but that's going to wrap up this episode here, guys. So um, we'll just, the plan will be to just continue uh, working these quests in the next, you know, upcoming episodes. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.